Hi guys, I'm David with MediaLock.net. Today, we're gonna to be talking about exporting your photos for printing. A company named Fracture recently reached out to me and asked if I'd be willing to make a video on this, and their prints are all glass, and I think they're really cool looking, but I've never actually ordered anything from them. So they offered me a little bit of credit to order some stuff from them and test out their prints, and I thought I would make a video on how to export those photos so you get the highest quality pictures, and then how to use their platform. Again, there is an affiliate link right over here, so if you guys do want to hit that and you guys order anything through them, it will help us out here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do, I'm going to show you guys how to export some photos on Lightroom and Capture One and then how to use their platform. And then once I get those photos in, we're going to talk about what I think far as the quality is concerned, the time it takes to ship and the overall experience using their platform. So let's get started. So the first thing that we want to do is I'm going to open up Lightroom, which I've got already opened up as you guys can see here. And I'm going to uh, go over to the one photo that I've selected. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on that. So I'm going to click, I'm going to click, right click on it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit export. Now, again, I've already edited this photo, so I already know how I want it to look, so it's already ready for printing. The biggest thing is making sure that you're getting your export settings set up best for printing. PNG is gonna be one of your best options. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at a couple of things. So it's got image format, JPEG. What we wanna do is we wanna be PNG. Now I know um, with Fracture, I think it is a 35 megabyte limit on uh, how large a photo can be when you upload it. PNG can be a little bit higher. So if you wanted, you could go JPEG and what you could click in Lightroom here is you could hit size limit and you could set it to, uh, let's say 34,999 so that it wouldn't be any larger than 34 megabytes or 35 megabytes, which is their max size that you can upload to their platform. So, but I'm gonna hit PNG and hope that it's small enough. And if not, now you do have the option for eight or 16 bit. We're gonna hit 16 bit. Again, we're gonna see how large this comes out to be. If not, we'll probably go back in and we'll do JPEG. So I'll show you how to do that as well. Now, color space is extremely important and you wanna go and pick the Pro Photo RGB. So what that means is that you have the largest amount of different colors that can happen within the spectrum and Pro Photo is gonna give you that the largest amount. So it's gonna give you a much better looking photo. You personally may not be able to tell the exact difference, but it really does help. So once we've done that, We've got our resolution. Now this is another very important thing. Anything under, let's say 72 to 150 is what you want when you're uploading to Instagram and the internet and stuff like that. But when you're printing, you want a resolution, a DPI of 300 pixels per inch. So we've, got, we've selected 300. Uh, we're not gonna add any sharpening, no metadata. Uh, we're not gonna add watermarking, post-processing, no. So really the things that we're looking at are the image size, the file settings, and then of course, uh, file naming if you do wanna name the file, and then the export. So I'm gonna export to my hard drive, I'm gonna export to my desktop, and if I wanted to, I could rename it and I could call it uh, a custom name, right? So I could call it Barn. Now this was shot on a 60 Mark II probably eight years ago. So this is a pretty old photo. Um, so the image quality that I have on my more modern day cameras is gonna be much higher quality than the image quality of my 60 Mark II when I shot this. But this is one of my favorite photos I've ever shot. I absolutely love this photo and I can't wait to see what it looks like uh, being a photo that I took eight years ago, what it looks like on this glass. So I'm super, super stoked to get this thing printed. So I'm gonna name it Barn. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on and hit export. Once I've hit export, I'm going to see is wait for this file to export. It's gonna take a second. So now that it's exported, I'm gonna to go to desktop and we're gonna look at Barn. And so it's 107 megabytes. So it's gonna to be too large to up, upload to their platform. So we're gonna go back in and we're gonna actually just go on and do it JPEG. So um, we, could, we could go 8-bit and see if um, we, could, we could upload or we could go on and do everything. Let's go on and just do 8-bit just to see if that will knock it down to 35. I really like a PNG file format better than a JPEG. I think that it's a higher quality format. So we're gonna hit export again. Yes, uh, we're just gonna override it. Um, again, we're gonna go down here to Finder, hit Desktop and Barn, it has not exported yet. So we're waiting for the file to export at this very moment. 
It is now exported, so let's go back to desktop. And now it is 29 megabytes. So I'm gonna throw this in the prints folder. Um, and so, um, so there it is, it's at 29 megabytes. So let's downsize that. So it's gonna be 8-bit PNG, we're gonna upload to Fracture. But the other thing I wanna do is I wanna show you guys how to export out of Capture One as well. So Capture One is a little bit trickier in getting your export settings set up but not too difficult. So um, what we wanna do is we wanna go all the way to this last tab right here. We wanna make sure we have the photo selected, as we do. Um, I've made a custom, uh, you can hit plus, and then you can add a new receipt, but I've already got one and I just named it PNG. This is what I'm gonna select. So make sure you have that checked um, and make sure that you, the orange dot, the orange line is on the item that you wanna export. So if you have it up here, make sure we're going down here clicking PNG. And now we're gonna look at a few of the export settings. So we want the format to be PNG, again, pro photo. So you have all these other color spectrums. I just really think pro photo's color spectrum is probably the best, in my personal opinion. So we've got pro photo, again, 300 DPI, pixels per inch. Um, I know that I had to scale this down to 85% to get it under 35 megabytes because I have already pre-exported pre this a few times to figure that out. So as you guys can see, I've got it at 85% right here. Um, we've got PNG selected. And then the last thing we wanna do is we wanna go and make sure that we have the right uh, export location. Um, I've already pre-selected pre my export location. Um, so, and that's going right into a folder called prints on my desktop. So once I've done all that, Everything looks good to me. Um, we're not gonna go through any of these other adjustments right here. This is really all you need to know. Then we're gonna go on and hit export. So once it's exported, we'll downsize. We'll make sure that it pops up and prints. So there's the one that we just exported. Um, and there's the one, there's the barn. So we have the two prints. I am gonna probably go on and upload uh, the HDR1 from Capture One because uh, it's a little bit, has a few more megabytes probably a little bit higher quality image. And it personally, I just like the way Capture One does things better than Lightroom. And I feel the quality is always a little bit better coming out of there. But that is a personal preference. Other people may argue with me on this, but I'm a huge Capture One fan. Been using them for my pre-edits before I send stuff to Lightroom for years. Um, I pretty much don't, or before I send it to Photoshop, I pretty much don't use Lightroom whatsoever anymore. All right, so once we've done that, um, we're going to open up the internet. We're gonna go to Fracture. Um, we're going to log in here. So let's log in. Well, let's see here. Let's refresh here and log in. And this process is extremely simple. It kind of blew my mind how easy this is. And I, I'm sure other photo printing websites have, have gotten on board with this and made things this easy. So we want a glass print. Um, I want an extra large print. So I'm gonna go with a 21 by six by 28.8, right? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go upload our photo. So we're gonna go select the photo. Uh, we're gonna get the one that we exported out of uh, Capture One, which is 34.3 megabytes. So it's just underneath their 35 megabyte um, threshold. Um, again, you guys can do JPEG if you want. I just think PNGs a little bit higher quality in my personal opinion. So, um, and we're uploading that right now. And there we go. So now that is uploaded. I was gonna take a couple more seconds to finally process. And they'll probably do some of their minor conversion on their website to make it work for the print. Um, same thing with any other thing you upload to YouTube, they're going to kind of resize and make things work so that it fits within their print. So there's the print that I want. So I'm going to hit continue. Now I'm going to go on and hit the matte glass because I don't want there to be a glare. Um, the room that I'm planning to put it in is actually the room that we have here. We have lights set up on each side of here and these lights are, can be very reflective. Um, so I don't want, we're going to be putting the prints behind me off to like the side and I don't want that reflection to be there. So I'm going to pay a little bit extra money to get the matte glass so that it doesn't have, uh, doesn't have a glare finish, which I really want. I don't want any, any glares to come off of it. So we're going to hit continue to cart. And then this is the pretty easy part. So this is our final price here. 
you can see the total if you've got a, uh, a gift card. And I think with my affiliate link, you do get a small discount. I think it's like 10%. Um, so again, if you hit that affiliate link, um, it helps us out here at Media Unlocked to keep making these videos. Um, and you know we get a little kickback for it. So once we've done that, we're gonna hit checkout. So this is where I would put all of my information in. I would submit my address. Then I would hit next, go into payment, confirmation, make sure everything's good and then they would ship me the product. Well guys, Fracture has finally sent out the pictures. I got two, I think 21 by 28 or 29 uh, images, so two large images. They're gonna be going, mainly for the podcast that I run, they're gonna be going on each side over here. So we're gonna talk about, well first we're gonna open it up, take a look at the print, see what we think, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to actually hang them a couple different ways. Um, but I'm super excited to open this up. It took. I ordered them on a Saturday, received them on a Thursday. So uh, it took roughly five, six days to get here. So that was pretty quick um, for both of those prints. Now again, guys, they did give me a gift card to order the prints, test them out. But I, uh, as always, give my unbiased review. So uh, let's open them up and let's see what they look like. I am like super excited about these prints. They're supposed to be pretty awesome. And I got the largest size that they offer. I got two, two prints of the largest size that they offer. So. Let's figure out how to properly open up this. And it looks like they've got them pretty well packaged because that is a very important thing to me. You know, you order a print, you want them to be well packaged. And I got to figure out how to get them out. So what I might need to do is open up this side and push them out the other end. So let's do that. I'm super excited. So let's see if I can push them out the other end. Or how do I get them out of here? They are super, super secured. So what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna break this box completely down, which I'm okay with that. I like, I like a product that is so secured that it's almost impossible for it to get broken or damaged. So what we'll do is we'll open up from the side here. Yeah, that should work. And there they are. So now let's uh, cut all these. As you can see, they've secured it pretty well this way. I guess they wanna, they wanna really add, add, add up the anticipation to look at these prints. So whoop, there we go. Okay, so it's not gonna look at them right quick. We're gonna push this box off and hopefully not hit the tripod but I got Nate in the background helping out so he's there so I made a custom print where I actually did my own graphic well I took a graphic that I found online and then customized it in Adobe Express uh, because it's for a podcast and look at this thing look at that that's pretty sweet so I found this really cool Joe Rogan picture Joe Rogan's a huge inspiration of mine when it comes to um, my podcast. Um, anyways, and then I added one of his quotes here at the bottom, as you guys can see. Uh, let's see here. Wow. That is sweet. And it feels really nice. So I got the, as I admitted, the, the non-glare. I, I paid extra, or they gave me the gift card so I could pay the extra. I think it was like $37 extra for this size. And it's supposed to be non-glare, which I don't want any glare, so that when we have these in the background of the podcast, um, uh, you know, it won't, it won't have a horrible glare. So uh, we'll just talk a little bit about the print real quick. So the print pops out of this, this right here, and then each print comes with a single uh, Phillips head screw. We're going to talk a couple different ways to mount this on the wall, um, depending on what tools you have. And all this does is this pulls out nice and easy. It's pretty light actually. It feels very sturdy. One thing I was worried about is because they're glass, how breakable they're going to feel. And these feel really, really good. So with the larger prints, and we'll flip it around. If you guys notice, you get a, uh, a reinforced metal uh, mounting piece. So it just takes a single mount where this just is going to flip in right here. 
and then it just locks in here. Now you don't want to pull down on it when you're putting it in. You just want to easily put it, you just want to take it and just very easily put the print in. So here is our second print. This is one of my most favorite prints that I've ever, that I've ever shot. Looks like there's a little bit of dirt or dust right there. I thought I had a sensor dust there, but then nope, thankfully it was not. And this I shot in Montana. This print is about, it's shot with a Canon 60. So the original 60, it's an old, old camera from back in the mid 2000 or mid 2010s. So I think I shot this in 2013 or 15, but look at those, if you guys can see those colors on it. But this is one of my most favorite prints. I sat in a chair for five hours till this got to exactly where I wanted it. So this is back when I did a lot more landscape work. Again, so these prints are gonna go here and here. So let's talk a little bit about how to mount them. So you have a couple different options. Um, your first option is just using a Phillips head uh, screwdriver. Um, so I could just take this. And what you wanna do is you're gonna to wanna to like make a little bit of a hole, just kind of puncture just a tiny bit, just a small puncture into the drywall. And then you'll just take this. The nice thing is it's really sharp. You'll connect it in and then you'll just screw that, that in, okay? Now, I like something a little more efficient, so you have two other options that you can do. I can literally take this power tool, put it in, lock the power tool in, and honestly, this is gonna be strong enough where I can literally take this, and then I can just put a little bit of force into it, so you, you got a little bit of pressure, so this is hanging in, kind of like I've got a little bit of pressure like this, and then, and then you're just gonna forcefully push it in, leave a tiny, tiny bit out so that it can lock into its spot. Um, or if you wanna make it even easier, you're gonna need a very small, so a, a super, super, if you wanna make a small hole, what we would do is we take a small drill bit, really tiny drill bit, this is a 5 64th, and we would take that drill bit, make a hole, and then this would, that would give us a start to a hole, maybe really, you probably want a 7 64th, a little bit bigger hole. And then that would kind of make a pre-hole that this would go into. But I, I think that's overkill. I don't think you really need to do that. But I just wanted to show you. Now, the other important things that we're going to be doing. I want these to be exactly in the same spot on each side of the wall. So I'm going to be using a measuring tape to actually measure out and make sure that everything is set exactly how it needs to be. So again, I'm gonna take the time to measure the exact length of this, figure out exactly where the middle is, then do the length of the area that I'm in, and then figure out where half that way is, and then that's where I'm gonna put the picture. I'm gonna mount the picture exactly halfway in between both of these. Um, and so the Joe Rogan is gonna go on this side, I think, and we're gonna put the, uh, my landscape picture on this side. Well guys, we got the pictures hung up. It was a pretty easy procedure. I'm gonna talk a little bit about it, but we have my barn picture here and my Elon Musk and Joe Rogan monkey picture here with the awesome saying, to really appreciate life, you've got to know you're going to die, just to let you guys know. It's one of my favorite Joe Rogan quotes. Anyways, uh, so to talk a little bit about the pictures. Now, I probably do notice that there is a little bit of a glare on both of these pictures. Um, however, if I'm looking at it, Nate's looking at it, we don't physically see a glare from our eyes, but the reflection off the lights, I guess, do add a little bit of a glare, but they look fantastic to me uh, visually. Um, so just to note, if you're going to be using the pictures with, a, with video in the background, you're going to need them. Like what we're doing for video, I now realize there might be a little bit of a glare uh, bouncing off the lights, that we, the way we've got the lights set up uh, in the future. But again, these are wide shots. They're way back, kind of in the back of the podcast. So I'm not too worried about the glare being that bad during the podcast. And I may be able to find a way to flag them to where the glare won't be so bad somehow. So we will work on that. But let's talk a little bit about some, uh, not necessarily issues with hanging up, but I wanna mention a few things. Now, one thing they do promote is that you can take a basic Phillips head to mount the picture. Um, the way that my drywall is or whatever we've got, uh, it's really, it's, this house is old, it's from the 50s. And I don't honestly think I would have been able to take the, take the screw and forcibly screw it in without the drill. I think that I absolutely had to have the drill. I also found that when I tried to drill in uh, the screw without using a bit first, 
it wasn't going through and it was chipping the paint really bad. So what we ended up doing is taking a eight, uh, what is it, a uh, one eighth, one eighth drill bit, made a hole with that, then took the um, then took the power tool and zipped it in. Um, far as once that was in, we found mounting it was super easy. Um, I, what I did is I took my finger from the top, I touched the metal piece, uh, and I lined that up right with the screw and then was able to just slowly shift it right onto the screw, which was super easy. So just to let you know, this may not be enough, uh, uh, possibly, where you might need that power tool. So if you got a buddy that has a power tool, if you don't have one, I highly suggest getting that. And I really do think uh, a 1 8 uh, drill bit, if you've got that as well, go on and make a hole ahead of time. Now, it really did help us to make sure that these were even on each side, taking a measuring tape and measuring out exactly how we wanted it. But again, you guys don't have to. That's a lot of extra work. But I wanted everything to look very copacetic on both sides. So as a whole, I absolutely love the prints. They look amazing. The glass really doesn't have a glare when I'm looking at it, which is the, one of the reasons that we got the, uh, the non-glare finish on them. Um, and I'm so happy with that. They look fantastic in here. I mean, I'm definitely probably gonna be ordering some more prints from them. Uh, see if I can convince them to give me a little bit more of my gift card so I can order a few more things. But I mean, the colors are good. The shipping was fast. Uh, highly suggest, and of course guys, I think I get a 15% affiliate discount, so I do get a kickback for it, just to let you guys know. I don't know what my kickback is, but I get one. Um, so, but I think it's 15% off for anybody that uses the affiliate link, so that's gonna be over here, and we'll add a link in there. But guys, Fracture, phenomenal prints, reasonably priced, um, highly suggest, and uh, I'm gonna get as many, <laughs> as many prints out of them as I can, because I wanna feel my whole entire podcast studio up with some of their prints because they're just, they look, they look nice, they were easy to order, and uh, the colors, I mean, I was a little worried how the colors were gonna come out, but I think they're very nice and vibrant. So, as uh, overall, very happy. Again, they did hook these up uh, free of charge, which is very nice of them, but unbiased opinion right here. So, guys, thanks for stopping in, and as always, we'll catch you next time. Let's go!